Welcome cadets. In this video we will cover learning resources. Now as you've seen probably there's an infinite amount of learning resources. You can find in YouTube, you can find courses that are purchasable in Udemy, subscriptions enabled services like LinkedIn Learning and such, Pluralsight. But my recommendation for someone getting started is to not get bogged down by sticking to just one kind of resource. It's good to combine different kind of materials. We all have our preferred way of learning. Some like text-based and uh, some prefer videos and other various kinds. Now in this video, we're gonna recommend two resources. The first one is called V3 Schools. So if I Google V3 Schools, you see the first link up here, v3schools.com. If I go here, uh, let's say preferences. Uh, we can see here the different kind of languages here, uh, even more in tutorials, we see there's plenty of uh, different uh, subjects and they're sorted by different sections and the C-sharp belongs to them back end, but it's used widely for pretty much everything. Now, if I click here C-sharp, we can see that we have a very simple format. For the left, we see the different sections and it's ordered by where you get started, the simpler things, uh, syntax, output, comments, variables, and comes to more advanced uh, concepts, it moves down. And we can also toggle dark mode here. Now you can sign in here, create an account, uh, so you can remember uh, where you were, uh, because there are exercises if you like that as well. Um, but if we, for example, look and let's see, uh, user input is a good section. It's very lightweight, uh, a little text, some small examples, um, and that's pretty much done. And then you can see there are exercises for those who like some uh, reinforcement learning and such. Um, so uh, even I use this uh, after many years in doing programming, because sometimes I just need a quick reference or I'm learning a new language and I want to explore how they do it in that language and what other kind of constructs and concepts are covered. So this is a very useful um, resource. Lightweight. Now, since we're learning C Sharp, the programming language and uh, the .NET framework, the ecosystem of it, uh, naturally Microsoft's own resources is very handy, Microsoft Learn. Let me see at the first one here, click there. And then here as well, you can sign in and you can remember your history when you're learning things. But we'll go into this section here, browse all training. And we see we've got a lot of results in there. Let me size this up. And you can see that there are many, many things here that you might not even be familiar with or are not interested in. So we're going to write the C sharp language. But still, a lot of results, 69. So to the left, we can filter. And what I recommend is selecting learning path and then now we have 12 results and we can see it's easy to know where to get started part one part two part three and naturally they will also begin with concept applications because they're still relevant today and will be for a very long time and if you're not unsure what a concept application is is if i open the terminal here this is the command prompt um, and here we have can have programs running here you don't need uh, graphical user interface programs like desktop apps or uh, mobile apps, web apps. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to begin with something lightweight like a concept program. Then we don't need to know too many different technologies, um, web technologies, for instance. So, um, yeah, so here you can enter the part one. And this one will cover some things that some video uh, tutorials don't cover. And of course, it's nice with some video tutorials like this one where you get to see things that might not be covered in text. Uh, you might see things that you didn't even know you could do. So that's what's nice with that. So my recommendation is combine them. Don't use just one. Explore different. And this one is pretty easy. It's uh, short modules. It says 34 minutes, but sometimes it goes faster. It's some different sections, for example. You'll have some little, it's like micro lessons, some little theory. You have like an exercise, and they even have a built in section. I didn't even know that. They were gone in here. That's good. Uh, developed it much further. 
and it's very light. And then some pages are shorter, some are a bit longer, and then it's done. So you have different modules. Uh, so that's what I like about it. We can move it there, we can resize that. Uh, we don't need that for now. <clears throat> uh, I think we'll leave it there for learning resources. Uh, see you on the next one.